Hi, it's Renee. Today I'm packing another lunchbox for you. I've started by putting my grain on, which is a pearl couscous, but we'll get back to that later. Right now I'm going to do what I always do when I start one of my salads, and that is chop up a big handful of greens. And today it's spinach. The next ingredients I'm going to add to the salad are purple cabbage and zoodles. I use these ingredients quite regularly. I like the way that they bulk out the salad and I also like those colours. I think they look really pretty. The next ingredient I'm going to prepare is my red capsicum or pepper. I like to slice it into thin strips and then again into smaller squares and I like the way that this allows me to either mix it through the salad or use it as a garnish. Next I'm adding a handful of green beans. I like to trim the ends off these and then when I'm adding beans to salad I like to blanch them in boiling water just for a few minutes so they're not completely raw. I'm also going to finely slice some spring onion. I like to use these as a garnish along with the capsicum. I like to use a range of different grains in our salads each week. I find it keeps things varied and they also help to make our salads a little bit more filling. This week I've used pearl couscous or Israeli couscous and this particular couscous is a tricolour version so there are white, orange and green pearls in there. Now it's time to put everything together including the salad ingredients I prepared earlier and some roast pumpkin that I already had prepared in the fridge. I always like to finish my salads with a little sprinkling of seeds and today I'm using chia seeds. Now that the salad's prepped I'm going to move on to my snacks starting with some snow peas. Instead of our usual savoury dip, this week I'm going to make a sweet dip using vegan cream cheese, some maple syrup and some vanilla paste. This makes a really nice alternative to the usual dips that I put in our lunches. I'm going to serve it with some sweet biscuits and I actually think it tastes like cheesecake so it's really delicious and worth a try. Now is the time when I begin playing around with all of my different containers to see how this lunchbox is going to come together. Sometimes I will swap them around if it's not working with the combination of ingredients that I have. I think I actually swapped the snow peas into three different containers until I had it looking the way that I wanted to for its Instagram photo. Okay, containers are in, it's time to add the snacks. These are the pistachio biscuits I'm serving with the cheesecake dip. I bought these at a Mediterranean grocer in Melbourne last time I was there. 
I'm also adding some quinoa straws. These are the wasabi and chia flavor. These are my favorite. I really like these. And I'm also adding some blackberries. But as you can see, it's not quite coming together the way I want. So I'm swapping things around so that they will all fit in and look the way that I want them to. And we're almost done. The last thing I need to do is add dressing. Today I'm using white balsamic vinegar, which is one of my favorites. Then I need to put all the small lids back on so I can pack this either as is for my husband or I to carry to work like this, or sometimes we pack it into an insulated lunchbox if we're traveling or on the go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, give this video a like or leave a comment. See you next time.